Welcome, ladies and gentlemen out there. If you like to take a place here, we have place left over. You can take a seat. You get a coffee for free and an interesting theme. So what is it here? It's the Hanover Fair, the Group Exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cell and Batteries Exhibition. So you can see a lot of new and freaky materials where are developed in special ways. So accept your coffee. It could be interesting to stay here. Of course, we will talk about ceramic phase coatings for ramping metal bipolar plate production directly with Dr. Hendrik Jungkranz. <laughs> I'm sorry for that. He's the managing director of Impact Coatings. Please, a short applause. Hi. Thank you. Sorry for mixing up your name. <laughs> it's very long on the one side, but it's written interesting. Um, is it also from the land where you come from? Where you come from? Uh, I come from Sweden. We are a company, Impact Coatings, and uh, uh, we, we uh, are developing uh, deposition systems for different uh, coatings. It's a green technology that we use. It's a PVD coatings. PVD coatings yep. means you. Oh, uh, in which region? Uh, region in Sweden do you use it? More in the north? More in the south? More in the south. It's uh, lean yeah. coping. It's uh, about. Uh, it's pronounced in Swedish lean shaping. Oh, thank you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's uh, two hours south from Stockholm. Oh, that's uh, fine. Close to Denmark, then not far away. Yeah, about four hours to Denmark. Mm -hmm. So uh, yeah, so it's close. It's it's uh, south of uh, Sweden. Yeah. So you got more uh, better weather than the Lapland guys? Yeah, much warmer. Much more better. <laughs> <laughs> um, um, you, you have your company, or you, you founded your company on which idea? The idea was actually to... Uh, uh, we looked at the coating technology. Uh, as I said, PVD stands for physical vapor deposition. Uh, it's a green, green technology where we evaporate material in vacuum. Mm -hmm. So when we do the coating, we use no uh, chemicals at all. Uh, it's uh, vacuum and we evaporate the materials. It's actually like you're boiling water. You create a steam and uh, then if you put your hand above the pot of water, then you condense a film on the hand and that is the coating we do. But instead oh, of doing it in atmosphere, we're doing it in vacuum and we can use almost any material in the periodic system uh, to coat with. So it's a really a wonderful tool in order to develop and to make new material. So with uh, this kind of development, you based on physical um, relations in, in your company. That means uh, mainly uh, physics does fit at you, not chemicals. Yeah, yeah. Phys 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 physics and chemicals is, is, is or chemistry is quite close. But but yeah, we are more physicists than, than chemists. But um, Going back to, to the idea of the company, so uh, what we did was uh, we, we thought that the, the machinery used for physical vapor deposition when we started back in the 90s was a uh, rather uh, batch loaded system, was not really efficient. And when we looked at different products, we saw that in order to be able to produce high volume production, like millions of parts, uh, the machinery had to be more efficient and we have to, to do that more efficiently. And after a while we have called this lean PVD because it's lean production of PVD coatings. Mm -hmm. And uh, now we, we are selling deposition systems where you need high throughput, high quality to a low cost. Well, you, you learn just lessons out of the history, getting better each time in this way. Yes. We have developed uh, or sold deposition system both for uh, the uh, semiconductor industry and also for the telecom industry as well. So uh, our coatings have been used for the cell phones, decorative coatings for the cell phones, for example. And now we are also supplying deposition deposition systems for uh, the automotive industry. Uh, there are some some parts in uh, the uh, Passat. Uh, Release newly released Passat that we have been not our but they have been used. Our deposition system has been used for that coating. Yeah. Um, uh, going on that, uh, what would you exactly think or uh, like to transmit? Was it, what is the main aspect of your company being the green one, or is it more the productive vein, more the cost effect? 
in in general, it is to be a, a, to supply machinery that is cost efficient, and you can use that for high volume production for for the for the coating for the PVD coatings. That is the most important thing uh, of the the company. And then, of course, we have specialized in some areas. And since we are here today, uh, we are uh, specializing coatings uh, for the fuel cells. And in that specific case, it's the coatings on the bipolar plates. That's what we're talking about. Yeah. <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> so um, could you give a short um, overview about uh, how the production runs? Um, how, uh, uh, well, uh, if, if you start to... Uh, if, well, yeah, exactly. The, the procedure. A little bit about the procedure, if it's not a secret, is it? Uh, not really. <laughs> not really. So a roughly overview about the procedure. What can I expect as a customer from you? How do you produce? Okay. It, it, once again, it, it's a, a physical vapor deposition method. So uh, what we do is that you put in your samples into the machinery. Yeah. Uh, we have a rather quick uh, evacua evacuation just between a few seconds up to, to one minute for, uh, for one batch. And then uh, we clean the surface with the plasma to take away the oxide and, and the dirt that is on, on the surface. And then uh, we coat a thin coating that is uh, thinner than half a micrometer thick. And uh, that coating will then uh, be protective, uh, will protect the the surface for corrosion, but it will also give a very low contact resistance for the current going through the place. Ah. Um, can I have it? Yeah. Ah. This is one of your solutions? Yeah, that is one uh, plate that we have been coating for a customer that we're working quite much together with. That is Borit. They are here uh, in the exhibition as well. So, uh, of course, we, we don't do the bipolar plates, the meta bipolar plates that, that yeah. is done by our customer. It's but, we do, but, but we do the, the coatings on them. Yeah. So, uh, this is a public forum. Yeah. Yeah. And I want, if there's someone interested and wants to raise uh, uh, his hand and maybe he's got a question. Yeah. So, is there someone who wants to see directly? Because it's a small piece <laughs> and you're sitting that <laughs> far away. I just give it down and you grab it to another one is this all right yeah just look at it yeah it's fine made as you heard <laughs> and just give it to the next one i collect it then later on okay i will follow with my eyes so don't put it in your bag <clears throat> yes uh, what's the uh, typical uh, feature so uh, one of those uh, qualified things the way you produce is got a special effect Yes. Uh, so, so, of course, uh, the idea when you develop a, a product is to have uh, the best performance to the lowest cost. And uh, traditionally, or some, some years ago, uh, people were using gold on the bipolar plates. And, and gold, gold. gold, yes. You, you mean this shiny material for rings, right? Yes, exactly, um, exactly. These are and not very good circumstances. No, it, it's uh, it's a nice material, but but the cost is huge. <laughs> so so, uh, uh, of course, if you look for the automotive industry, when you talk about three to five hundred bipolar plates in one stack, and uh, if the cost is uh, ten uh, to to. Uh, uh, to 50 euros a, a, a plate for just the gold, then it will be very, very expensive. So uh, what we have done is uh, to lower the cost by reducing uh, the normal yeah, metals. We, we don't, we don't yeah. use any normal metal at all. So, so okay, yeah, yeah. the material we use is a transition metal, and uh, then we introduce a group A element and nitrogen and, and carbon into that uh, material. And then we create a certain uh, microstructure uh, that is down to the nano level. And uh, we have a certain grain, and then we have a, ma a matrix around those grains. And that together gives a very good uh, connectivity and a very good corrosion resistance of the material. And of course, the cost is much lower than, than gold. So, so we, we are down at. If we look at high volume production, one deposition system can coat about two million uh, bipolar plates if we talk about this bigger size. And uh, then we are down to a cost 
below half a dollar, US dollar uh, bipolar plate. And that is approximately the area where, where the automotive industry is, is looking for, for the cost right now. So it seems you, you're fitting to your customer by your product on the one hand. On the other hand, like I hear, if you don't use gold, for example, which is, uh, well, if I put it in these words, uh, you can win gold out of a huge hill for a kilo or two and you got to destroy a lot of environment. Do, do you react not only on gold, also on the selection of other materials, how they are made for your company? So is there a green aspect in what kind of material you buy too? Yeah, that, that is of course very, very important that uh, uh, the material we use is of course non-conflict materials and uh, should be as, as env environmental clean as uh, possible. So uh, that, that is, of course, very important because when you use uh, both for the coating, you, you will have some waste, but also uh, after the, the, uh, the plates are, are used and, and the scraps, then it should be also environmental friendly after usage. So, so uh, I think we have found a very, very nice solution to that. Uh, unfortunately, I cannot go into exactly the details, exactly the material we are using. But uh, it is very nice. And, and in general, uh, the, the tricky thing is not really the material. The tricky thing is how you do it and how you, you make the microstructure of the material. And uh, this, is, uh, this is the way, just to, to stay uh, uh, in general, this is the way um, that if I would produce a fuel cell and some components giving to you, I could be on the sure side it's green. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. so, so both the coating is green and the technology to do the coating is green. Yes. Yeah. So very fine. Uh, well, you're looking also for customers here, don't you? Yes. So uh, what, what, in, in general what we are, we are a, a machinery manufacturer that has developed a coating. So we offer the, the, the position systems to, to the customers and uh, that is it. Uh, turnkey solution, so uh, we, we supply the know-how, the knowledge, uh, the recipe and, and the coatings and, and adjust that to, to the customer specification. Uh, however, uh, well, we understand well, well, yeah. that the customer doesn't really want to buy a deposition system the first day. Of course, they want to do the design in, they want to evaluate, they want to know how this is working. Uh, so we, also, we do uh, different projects quite often together with the customers in order for evaluation and qualification. And uh, then we can do uh, coating service as well uh, as ramping up services. And uh, when it makes sense, uh, we can move the deposition system to the customer or the supplier of the customer to his facility so they can produce it in, in the most efficient way. And this is one of the aims, or this is surely one of the main aims you uh, try to reach with your customer together. So if you start a project with a customer, you try to get, be involved from the first step in this direction he wants to produce. Is yes. this the way? Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, of course, it, it is a um, time-consuming project because uh, there are some accelerated tests that you can try uh, the behavior of, of the coatings on the bipolar plates uh, in, in 24 or 100 hours, but that is still an indication if it's good or not good. So uh, it is really the lifetime test that, that is uh, what, what, what our customer is, is relying on. And of course, if, if you look at, at uh, fuel cells that should uh, stand for uh, 10,000 hours or 15,000 hours, it would take time to do the test and, and evaluation. So uh, quite often we are involved in projects that, that last from uh, two to five years. Uh, but then of course we, we have, but that, that is quite often project that, that has really large volumes and, and especially for the automotive industry. Mm. And uh, then we are involved in, in uh, shorter projects as well that could go from one to three years as well. And then quite often that will be a little bit shorter, uh, smaller volumes in that case. Um, talking about volumes, um, what is the volume of a company? So how far can I go with you? What kind of customers do you aim on fitting to your company? We, 
in general, if we look for for uh, the automotive industry, which we think is is uh, the driving force in this uh, area right now, and uh, we we will not really be a supplier of bipolar plates, and we will not do the the uh, the coatings uh, for directly for the the OEMs. It, it will more be that we supply the machinery that should be placed in the production line, or we can help the the, the bipolar plates manufacturer uh, to build up the production line. Uh, but in, in that case, saying that means that we are working uh, together with the OEM today. They they want to do quite a qualify all the different parts themselves mm. uh, and then later on uh, we will work together with uh, the, uh, the suppliers, the tier one or tier two suppliers. But uh, so, so that said means that we can work with, with a giant uh, multinational uh, company uh, down to a small company, we have the, uh, a few persons. So, so we are Today we are equipped uh, we, to work with everyone, but I, I also think it, it is the, the industry right now, it, it's what we call, the, the whole industry is a little bit like early adopters. That means that there are no really uh, structures yet, uh, who to be a supplier, who to be a, a buyer, who should uh, uh, supply different products into different fields. So, at least for us, that, that is quite open. As, as long as it's open, uh, the doors to, to the big OEMs is, is uh, quite open, I would say. Oh, that's, that sounds very fine, because uh, it structures like modular. Um, did you follow the plate by eyes? No. <laughs> Does someone have the plate? Do you know where it is? <laughs> there? Okay, my colleague has yeah. it. You call, ah, oh, there yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you don't have a question right now, do you? No. <laughs> is there someone having a question directly now? Yes, please. Hello. Uh, is your technology based on a multi-chamber technology? Because you told about inline process? Uh, it, it's uh, what. If you look at our deposition system, we have uh, four uh, chambers. One for the load lock to, to uh, create the vacuum, and then we have uh, three other chambers uh, that we have different processes in the different chambers. First one, we, we mainly do uh, clean etching and clean sputtering, and then in the other one, we do coatings with different compositions. So that there is uh, the, the coating through its thickness is uh, uh, have a different composition. Do you like to have more questions? You can find Mr. Jungkranz directly yeah. at booth 54, D54. We have some um, uh, brochures signed up for uh, the complete fair here, where you can find the booth directly too. And if somebody else got some questions, we have to stop right now here okay. on stage. <laughs> booth D54, directly, it's about 15-20 yeah. meters in this direction? Yes, that's Is correct. It? Yeah. Mr. Jungtrans, thank okay. you very much okay. for this kind of presentation of your material and your producing way. Thank you very much. Mr. Jungtrans. Okay, thank you. See you at your yeah, booth. Thank you. Yeah. And now following up with uh, the next point in industrialization of hydrogen and fuel cell technology. Appearing soon directly there, standing and waiting for stage in a minute.